I guess she's 47 here. Welcome back. We are here to see Miss Daisy. Hey there. Means a lot to me that you made the library safe. Yeah, yeah. Now you hear the train. What's it like? It's a lot worse when people always ask you about it all the time. On the upside, oh, I'm sorry. I look pretty good for being over 220 years old. Uh. Wait. 220 years. 220 years old? Okay, okay. It's more like 270 years. But don't go blabbing that to everyone. <laughs> Stop counting birthdays. Do you know what it's like being that old? Actually, yes. Actually, I do. <laughs> well, now you're just making fun of me. If you were as old as I was, you would have been around since before the war. So let's hear it. Come on. Tell me what the war uh -huh. was like before the war, if you're so ancient. Beautiful and peaceful. A beautiful house, white picket fence. And a lawn with the greenest grass you'd ever seen. It was peaceful. It was, wasn't it? Sorry. Last thing you want to see is an old lady tearing up. Well, you're either the most well-deserved fool I've ever seen, or you're the second best bullshitter and good neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. All of it. You know, if you haven't already, you should check out the hotel breakfast. There's another pre-war ghoul hanging around there. Well, I talked to him already. The it's the Vault Tech rep, I imagine, that she's talking about. Uh just browsing for now. Look, it's not as good as having her. How do I talk I wanna hey, Daisy. McGrady. I haven't seen you in a while. So, what do you need? I got it. I found the cure to something's disease. Oh my god. That's wonderful news. Yeah. Last time you tried the pharaohs almost chewed you to bits. I didn't do it alone. A friend here got me through a med tech. Now That's right. Sure. Greedy trusts you. That's good enough for me. I appreciate that. He's actually not so bad. Once you get to know him, I'll get the sample on the caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few favors, and he's reliable. It will arrive at your homestead in no time. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. <laughs> Take care of McCready for me. He's one of the good ones. Sounds good. Heads up. Heads up. Hope this helps. Your thoughts? The open road and a loaded weapon. Um. Just one relationship? See how you when it comes down to it, I like having you in my corner. Let's try and keep it that way. Didn't have anything else. All right. Hmm. Do we need to, we need to talk now? Look alive. Need something? Nothing else I need. No, I guess not. <clears throat> I want that perk you got, man. Yeah, it'll come later, I'm sure. We need to track down a ghoul fellow by the name of Kent Connolly. I wonder if he's in here. He's the guy that you see about the Silver Shroud quest line. I wanted to go ahead and get that started because I have, I have all of the devices for it. They've already looted all of the places that contain said items. But better keep your eye on strapped on. Friendly advice. Drop it. 
Drifter. Drifter. Sweet pit boy, brother. You hold on to that wheel. I will. I like the music in this place. Well, well, well. That's weird. And a little creepy. Hmm. Did that respawn? I'm thinking it did. Sweet. I'm glad that that stuff respawns. Not that I need any of it, in any sort of regularity, but... No, not in here. What's over here, though? Oh, okay. Bathrooms. Nice. <laughs> Brain fungus is owned? That's weird. I wonder what that matters. I do, I do. Interesting. Why is there steam coming up from... the cracked ground? Old state house. Who's this fella? You need something to take the edge off. Just like a popo, man. That's cool. Just like the popo. Yeah. This place is full of freaking drifters. Rufus Rubens. Uh nah. Sure. Yeah, let's go in here. I'm trying to find this. Connolly bloke. I don't know. <clears throat> I am so happy to see you again. I got all I got lots of candy. <laughs> no, thank you. Hey. Buddy. Hey. Let me joke. A guy once told me to always leave them wanting or unfortunately he was working at the rationing station. <laughs> Would you like a cold one or did you want to uh, joke? That was kind of derpy. I will I'll take a beer. Take a beer. And refreshing. Yes indeed. <gasps> And they're now ice cold nuclear quantums. That is super cool, man. <laughs> I like that a lot. Ah, <sighs> refreshing. Thank you. It's my favorite person. Got some premium. Oh, you staying with us today? Render assumes no expectation mm. of privacy or safety for you or your belongings. <laughs> uh, no. Thank you, though. Appreciate the offer. I don't think he's in here, either. And that's fine. Where are you, sir? Because the book doesn't tell you exactly... He says that he's in good neighbor. It doesn't, like... Specify exactly where this fellow is. Whoa. Seriously? Okay. Well, that was weird. Hmm. 
The back alley is a dangerous place, I reckon. It's okay. Took care of it. Hey, fellas. More back alleys? It's in here. Warehouse. I... <coughs> Third rail. Old state house. There ain't but so many places in this town. Obvious place. Yeah, alright. We'll check out the memory den. Might be floating around in here. He could also be in Bobby's place, so we'll go there next. This is not the right place. Of course, if we run out of time for this video, then we'll just do it. I'll just track him down off screen. <clears throat> How very, very. <gasps> There's Kent. Nice. Hey, buddy. Good neighbors, crazy. Babs, murders, worse. Sometimes you just got to escape a little to make it through the day. Uh huh. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. But now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's mm -hmm. what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. <laughs> listen, pre war. I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. From the past. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. <laughs> from episode 83. Wasn't he a caveman? A caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. It seems like people are finally rebuilding. Yeah. Recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts. This one's gonna run a little bit late because I gotta talk to Ken about some things. We got a ways to go. McCready, stop just liking the shit that I do. It's not nice. Trying to be nice. Bruh. I got a plan to bring him to life, so we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Plan. I built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need an <coughs> important piece. The genuine silver shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made yeah. it for a TV show. Will you help? Already have it. Actually, let's do some reward action here. I can give you some caps up front. Just promise you'll help me. For show. And I already have it. I already have your costume. There she is. Pretty as the posters. A silver shroud costume herself. And memorabilia too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Okay. Um Sure. After all these years, the silver shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just right. still the shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or, or his butler Jarvie Blake. But the shroud is strong, capable. Mm-hmm. Who gets the suit then? Oh, I have an idea who should wear it. You up for being the silver shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. Fire vault and all. Uh, possibly. If I go along with this, I could use a little extra. If it'll get you to help, sure. I, I, I may be able to scrounge up a couple of things. For show. Okay. I get to be the shroud. 
The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbors' streets, and I'll call in any call in any crimes. Silver shroud. Holy crap! Good lord! Look at how much that that is amazing, dude. Forty-two, forty-two. Are you serious right now? That's that's intense. All right, fantastic. With that, though, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. Till next time, guys. Bone with tuna. We'll see you next video.